Hello there everyone, how are you? Uh, Sherman Wright here, it's a, an evening with a, a number of local musicians and a lo number of local guys who take to do with uh, an absolutely fantastic club which is run monthly in the BT and Post Office Club on Church Street in Ballymena. It's the Rusty Strings and Dirty Frets. Now, what is Rusty Strings and Dirty Frets? If you're not aware what Rusty Strings and Dirty Frets are, well then you're missing out. It's an absolutely fantastic opportunity for everyone and anyone to bring their instrument along, and even if you don't have an instrument, is to come down and take part in some absolutely fantastic entertainment. Provide your own entertainment, get to learn how to play guitar, get to learn a bit of tuition here, enjoy a bit of socialisation, and also listen to some absolutely fantastic local music, which is written and also played by local artists. I'm here tonight uh, in a house in Gilgorm. I'm at the house of Mr David McKendry, who has been very, very vocal in the organisation of Rusty Strings and Dirty Frets, alongside another local gentleman who I have known for quite some time and have a quite fantastic relationship with as far as the understanding of how music can help people, society and what music actually is. It's Mr Darrell Ball. Now I'm going to have a chat with these two guys here but first of all we're going to stick on the first number and this is the first song that we're going to perform here this evening and this is called Wasting Time. So that was wasting time there, quite a fascinating number. Uh, the two gentlemen in question I have with me here. David, can I just ask you first, uh, the inspiration for a Dirty Strings and Rusty Frets, where did that come from? Obviously you're a lover of music and you're, you're wanting to push uh, local music out to people. Is this part of the idea and the ideology behind well, this? That's, that's the main thing behind it, Sherman. Uh, there was a fella running an open mic there uh, and all of a sudden he just uh, he stopped. So I kind of thought to myself, could I actually do this? So uh, asking Darrell and asking my brother-in-law Alan to come along and help me. So in December 2018, we took over and, and started running the open mic uh, down in the BT club. And, and that's, it's been going strong since that. Obviously not during lockdown, but we, we have done videos and one thing and another. We've posted and all the rest of it on our, 
on our Facebook page, on our YouTube uh, page as well. So that's really where the ideas come from. But yeah, as, as far as music concerned, I've been into music uh, since singing in the choir at primary school, you know, but never really took up playing an instrument until probably about 10 years ago, Sherman. And that's when I picked up. I've always had a love of, of guitar. Uh, and one day I just decided, right, that's it. I'm going to start learning how to play guitar. And it's, it's, it's just been a step and step and stepping stone uh, from that there to now running an open mic night and being in partnership with Turn the Page with Daryl and I as a group uh, to recording uh, and writing our own material. So uh, the words, uh, it's limitless. Let's put it that way, you know. So uh, it's, it's great to be involved in music. The big thing about the open mic night is to bring lots of uh, your ordinary people, there's loads of people out there that love playing music or they're into music, maybe they read poetry. It's an open mic there for musicians and, and poets and storytellers and, um, and my brother-in-law normally does a, 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 bit of, a wee bit of uh, news, shall we say, every month they, they come up with one or two things and that there, which is quite interesting to listen to. Uh, Alan's very... Uh, very much geared that way, uh, so as as regards uh, news items and one thing and other. So, but it's it's not only for musicians. I want everybody to come down in and 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 join in and and have a good night's crack down in the BT club, and that's what it's all about. A big part of socialisation as well, Sherman. And getting people out again, after especially that. in these current times, where obviously so. you know, like obviously, Daryl, I'm sure you understand. And quite obviously, we're stating there uh, that leads on to another question there, of course. But uh, obviously, David, you know, like we're only out of lockdown. You know, yeah. uh, as last recent times are you know and mm -hmm. basically the situation is you say the word there socialization i yeah. think it's great to get people out i think it's an absolute yes, fantastic yes. thing there yeah. and n n not to take the conversation away from you but it's not hard to know that you like guitars uh, I, well, I, 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 I suppose i suppose it's got to a point that uh for for why a hobby it's completely the guitars take over your life huh? <laughs> and it's an obsession really sure I mean, you know but sure you know that's you know you could be doing worse things in this world but that creates music, you know, and if, if I get enjoyment out of that, and that's what it's all about, you know. So, uh, and you're, you're mentioning there about all the different uh, forms of art that are being performed. Yes, yes. A creative art, Daryl, creative art, that can't, that can't be a bad thing. It's great, you know, and it is a, an open forum, all ages, you know, and it's, you know, people that are doing poetry, storytelling. We've even had a couple of stand-ups come in, we do, do wee short routines as well. So if you've got a talent for whatever it may be, whether it be music, storytelling, telling a joke or whatever, you're welcome, you know, and it's a great wee group of people down there. Nobody's there to judge. Everybody's there to support. You know, it's a very, very supportive environment. It's a small room, so you're not going to be overwhelmed by the size right. of it. You know, and it's just, it's a great place. We really look forward to it. You know, and it's always that first Thursday of every month, and it's it's nearly like a highlight of your month. Mm -hmm. you we know, definitely it's good. A breeding ground. Yeah, for local art and music. Is. And, yeah. Well, and the, the performing of we're a direct result of it. Yeah, you know, right, so right. Yeah. and I uh -huh. would probably not be doing what we're doing now had, had we not sort of met through that environment as well. You right, know, right, and, right. And there's been other sort of collaborations. There's like Stagger Junction. They're yeah, another right, group yeah. that have been formed off the back of meeting through the BT. Club. Is that Bill Ray? Yeah. And oh, Ray right, right. Yes, I obviously yeah, I know, know Bill Ray. They play down in Charlie's area. A fantastic group. And they've actually thing. brought out a new CD. They have. They have, they have actually they brought out a new yeah, CD, yeah. which is available, I'm sure, for purchase on all of the uh, the social media, like Spotify and all the other. Uh, not Spotify. The uh, what's the other ones? Everybody would use all just um, and Deezer and Aye, they're all those in Bandcamp. I think all those things. They're all on there, yeah. And then another man, Jay McLean, another right. well-known local name. He produced it for them. Oh, Jay's a good right. guy. So and Jay oh, hi, Jerry, yeah, he puts out a lot Jerry, of his own music as well. Oh, so. hi, we, we, so. we, have, we have quite a, a mix actually too that that come in, sure, and we have got the hideaways. I don't know whether you know Janine Fullerton and Roy Fullerton. They would be. They would play quite a lot of big. I can't uh, say I know that. I probably would, but you know what I mean. You know, having been well known around the yeah, town and known uh, a lot of people there with respect. Of and course, we, we've David. had uh, folk come down from Belfast. We'd done a wee gig. Uh, a few years back there in the Bard Star, was that it? Yes. Uh, and we met yeah. uh, a few folk up there from, from Belfast, so they're starting to trickle down through now, which is nice as well. Fantastic. Uh, so Fantastic. I, I, I want our local people to come out, that's what it's for, you know. I'd rather do, you think, like do you think is there the room, obviously, for maybe like a, a wee event there for a charity event or something, you know, or some type of, to support some, you know, something I, local I, there? I think so. You I know, think, so, I think sure, that's yeah. a, 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 mm -hmm. could be a, a target. Or? I think so. A few, a few years back, even before I took over, uh, I was on a, a few different groups and out there and had uh, you guys stripped. 
mm -hmm. uh, that came and performed with on a charity band. Hi, Darrell's band, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's right, yeah. Uh, and uh, so we've done a few things in the past, although uh, Darrell and I, I think, are, are intent on pushing on a lot more, both with the Open Mic Night and ourselves as Turn the Page. Um, I think it's important to get out there again, sir. I know possibly people are still mindful about going out uh, yeah. uh, 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 and even coming and out of course the know, economic times hasn't helped you know economic not, situation that easy. we're all living in and trying to get yeah. over yeah. and trying to mm. get through at this moment in time doesn't help things you know that's but right. but socialization and getting out there is an essential thing Simple. and i think that music is possibly one of those main things to get people out and about whether they want to go for alcohol or food mm. or whatever but if there's music there i think it stimulates mm. that moment it yes, helps that yes very much so uh, you know i think it's relieving very much so uh, very much so i know it is for me not not even uh for the matter of playing it but uh on an instrument or guitar but if you look around obviously see it uh, i still I spin vinyl so uh, you know i come in here and, and and put on an lp and it's the first thing that that calms me down or brings me back to to myself again you know so it's very very important i feel so as uh, uh for uh your mind Never yeah. mind or uh, anything else. Music was most certainly a way of life, and Darrell, it has been quite obviously a way of life. You're talking about ten or twelve years there. Mm -hmm. How long have you? How, how long have you been hanging around, baiting around the street corner? Giving away my age. You yeah, know, just, well, I you know, I, I certainly don't want to get in trouble here by doing that. Darryl, First bass no. guitar, I think I was about fourteen, my uh, fourteen, maybe fifteen. Uh, so I've been doing it for many years since. A lot better figure on it. Some might say too long, but it's, you know what, you keep coming back to it. Over the years, there's times, you know, you maybe get distracted and do other things and whatever, and it's maybe not always your uh, priority or your focus, but you always come back to it. Ah, uh, it's, you know, it's part of you, Darrell. It really just, is. You know, it's part of your design, isn't it? Growing up in a house that always had music in the house, uh, and yeah. that's where that sort of love of music came from. And then once I started to learn to play it for myself, and then as I got older, I started to write you know, music and things and be parts of different bands. And I've been so fortunate to play with so many good musicians over the years. And you make great friendships off the back of it as well. It's not just about the music, but it's the bonds that you make with yeah. the people that oh, you make the course. music oh, with. Yeah, right. You know, and lifelong friendships come out off the back of it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I wouldn't have it any other way. It's been great. You did say to me uh, at one point there uh, that you'd that was nearly it. You were going to set the guitar up and pack it up, and well, I've sort of done that, and that and that's it. We'll move on, and then obviously you asked me to come on board with you. And, I think, or hopefully, I've renewed your, your passion with wanting to, to write more and, and make and more music And that comes out of you know? music alone. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, you know, ah, mm -hmm. ah, the friendship, mm -hmm. the palace, and mm -hmm. obviously the, the trying to further yourselves. And, and, but most importantly, I, I, I come back to the Dirty Strings and Rusty Friends, you know, like, if that wasn't happening in Palomino, what, 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 would, what would be happening in Palomino as far as the opportunity for music's concerned? You know, not, not to say that there's nothing happening, because I'm sure somebody else the is going to be doing the other people, thing, you know, but are they out there? What is the, the only, know, the, there's a few for, things out there, sir, and there, there's another uh, club run up, upstairs, which I'm part of as well, which is a, a BT uh, Blues and Rock Club. Oh, aye, aye, aye. That's, that's run by, by Louis Burns and myself and that there. So that's the only other music. There are two music schools in the town. Oh, I, yeah, I'm and, very aware of that. You know, I wish, I just wish they would send people up. And, and Which is obviously Ballymena music yeah. uh, on, just if you go up and turning it into the uh, car park, the, the multi-story car That's park correct, just there, yes. yeah. Uh -huh. It's the big red star building. And then you obviously have uh, the, the music, rooms. music rooms, yes. which is obviously on Rodney, Church Street, mm -hmm. on Church Street yeah. there. You know, so that's a massive push out there for uh, those two local businesses that are trying to hammer out the best uh, equipment and the best availability uh, of what you can order. And you can save a couple of pounds by obviously contacting them people. And, you know, it makes a lot of sense for local people to, uh, obviously, children, their music in their schools and stuff, you know, should it be a violin, should it be the clarinet, or should it be even a simple recorder? Yeah. Should it be the finger movement, the stimulus of the brain, and getting them into something? You know, it's, it's, uh, music has its theory, it has its, it has its therapy. It does, sure. It's, it is an absolute therapy, that's what I was saying earlier on. There, there's money today, come home, and, uh, you know, you've had a, a rough day at work, you know, you simply come in here and put an LP on and sit down and listen to it and within an hour you're, you're, you're calm. And there's another little music group that's actually just started there maybe about three, four months. The, there's a ukulele club. That's right, yeah. Uh, they're called the Balamina Ukulele Group. And right. They've abbreviated to, to Bugs and uh, they meet down in the, the Methodist Church on the first Monday of every week. The um, Methodist Church, that's obviously the crossing there uh, towards uh, from Duke Street. That's from right, the yeah. Arms. Ah, just across from the Dare yeah, Arms there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. from 7 till 9 on a Monday. Um, I 
been going for a few weeks myself and uh, it's fantastic really loving it and you're talking about you know music being therapeutic you, you can't be miserable when you're playing the ukulele you can only smile when you're playing the ukulele it's just such a fun happy instrument uh -huh. and again it's a good mixture of edges are you cleaning windows am i right exactly yes. Yes. george yeah, formby yes, 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 right. you know, so, yes. so if anybody's you know free on a monday night and wants to come down and you know, a lot of people that started there, there a few weeks ago hadn't even left it. And so what time's that, Daryl? Seven till nine, for two hours on, on a Monday night. On a Monday night and in the Methodist? Most people that are there started off as, as beginners and in a matter of weeks are sounding great. So, yeah, it's, again, it's another very supportive, friendly environment. So come along. Anywhere there's music involved, you guys are pulling strings. Trying to, anyway. Huh? Sure, I'm trying to. Trying are the to strings be. still rusty and are the strings still dirty? Yeah. They Absolutely they are, and that's the only way to have them. <laughs> you know so uh, this is what music has and this is what uh, these guys get at and the Rusty Strings and the Dirty Frets Club obviously and the BT Club once a month on a Thursday evening uh, what time's that start at guys? normally about a half seven eight o'clock kick off for about eight o'clock so I normally go wait till the eight you know and that's whatever time uh, we decide to finish that sermon really <laughs> so the BT Club are uh, excellent with us you know they really are to give us that, that stand. And so you need that, you need that. Uh, without that, you system. don't yeah. have the feasibility, of course, you know, and it's obviously uh, the Rock Club as well. I think it's a great, yes, that's a great venue that's for that there, you know, obviously. Uh, so, uh, will we move on to the second song? Certainly, yes. And what is the name of the second song? Uh, Rainy Days. Um, if you speak to Daryl, that's another one of Daryl's uh, originals there. So, yeah. The inspiration behind that, Daryl, obviously... Uh, it's quite a creative song yeah, as far as the current time's concerned. Ago, actually, but I think it's probably more relevant now than it's ever been. It's a song called Rainy Days and it's about uh, sort of struggling through difficult times, whether it be financially or, or whatever. And I think with the current climate and situation that we're in now, you know, if well, people hear the lyrics when we sing this song, but if you listen carefully, I think it's, it's very relevant for the times we're in now. Uh, very much so, yeah. Mm -hmm. I will let the guys take it away. Cause my rainy day, my 